Uh, but hey, we found a lighthouse, so I'm really, really happy. Ah, it's just a water snake. Turns out to be a Mississauga rattler. Yep. Massasauga. Massasauga, Mississauga. He gave me his camera. <laughs> Well, good morning to you all and welcome uh, back for another video. My name is Nigel, the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs and today we're doing another My CBU Life Adventure and I believe this one's gonna be episode number nine. And this is a very different adventure because it's I'm going somewhere I've never ever been before and it's very much spare at the moment. I received a phone call from a certain person um, two days ago saying, hey, what are you doing Wednesday? Uh, uh, nothing. He goes, hey, do you wanna go X, Y, and Z? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So um, I set my alarm clock this morning, 4.15 a.m. Up I got, ski loaded, cooler loaded, uh, jumped on the road for 4.50 a.m. It's a four hour drive. I'm not expected to get there until about nine o'clock. Uh, I did have a shock this morning. I had to fill up the truck and the sea -Doo and a spare can of fuel. And the gas prices this morning were 138.9. Nearly having a panic attack. It was that bad. So anyway, um, I looked at Gas Buddy and I managed to find a gas station uh, just only about a kilometer out of the way and it's still a dollar 25 so uh save myself about 15 bucks in total by doing that anyway i'm on the road i'm heading along the qew right now then onto the 407 the 400 past barry and uh, i still got like two hours to go after that i believe so it's gonna be a long long day so why don't you join me on today's adventure uh because i don't know where i'm going Here we are, this is my first time up north with the sea -Doo. It's actually probably my second time I've ever actually been north. So today we're launched from Parry Sound. I'm with Mark, who's just gone ahead. We'll chat with him later. And uh, he's taking me out and about around here today. Show me a few of the sights. So uh, three things I want to try and find while I'm out here. An old bridge, which I think I found one. Uh, maybe we'll find another one. Uh, a lighthouse would be nice. And third, a waterfall. So I can find one of those things, I'll be happy. Looking at those things, one would presume big boats would have come in here at some point. Uh, it's very deep here from what I've been told. And from what I know of, uh, the port here 
is the deepest freshwater port in the world. I think that's what I read. So Port Perry is famous for its deep water port, the uh, freshwater, the deepest in the world. So there's a fun fact for you. All right, our first stop's gonna be, uh, Mark just told me, he's gonna take me up to uh, Franklin Islands. So I'll be following him. So he's got his uh, navigational setup better than mine for here. So uh, off we go. We're going to Franklin Islands first stop. Found my first uh, item on the list, uh, a lighthouse, a snug harbour. Uh, there it is. So this is the entrance to snug harbour and this is to guide the boats in when they come in, it lights it all up. Uh, so Mark's gonna take me to find another one very shortly. I still hope to try and get the bridge and the waterfalls as well. So uh, off we go, more exploration. All right, I gotta stay, I'm right behind Mark now. Or to his left so he can see him in his mirror because the uh, the waterway is going to get a little bit more tricky it goes, it goes from deep to shallow very very quickly and uh, also some spotty rocks around and he's been there a couple of times before so he kind of knows where the rocks are so I've got to follow him Unfortunately, my internet's not working, so I have no idea what it's called. Uh, the right is a little faded out. Maybe I'll try and get a bit closer and have a look. Uh, but hey, we found a lighthouse, so I'm really, really happy. Uh, the water's a little bit more choppier out here than it was on the sound. So we must be way out onto the proper ocean bed, not ocean, but it feels like an ocean. We're right out on the lake here. It's beautiful. All right, now I know what it's called. Red Rock Lighthouse. So this is the Red Rock Lighthouse here. Cool.
you can see where he gets his name from, right? The rock he's on, Red Rock. Makes sense, right? That is spectacular. Now, I've just noticed <laughs> this must be the last piece of land right here because there is nothing, nothing for as far as the eye can see out there. <laughs> so Mark was here not so long ago and the first thing he's noticed is the smell of paint and they've literally just freshly painted it. And as we came around the corner here, so the wind's blowing from that direction, you can smell the paint. So this must have just been done in the last probably few days. Maybe even yesterday. exploring between the islands here have a ride around gotta be careful though there's a lot of low rocks i can see a couple right ahead of me so we've got to be really uh vigilant as we ride around here look how clear that is See a rock line right there. This is what it's all about. The adventure, exploring, getting in close to things. Look how clear it is. lines Mark was telling me uh, this time last year the water level was much higher. So looking at the water mark, it's probably about nearly two, probably two feet down compared to uh, what it was last year. He's thinking about it. Hey, just need a little bit more water. Again, maybe camp out here. Me camp, that'll be funny, but I could, I would. I could easily just camp on these little islands. I'd be happy doing that, I really would. of people camping up here lawn chairs are out tents up
This is what it's all about. The sea do that is. The adventure. Exploring things I never normally see. I mean, you can't walk here. You can't drive here. You can clearly see the watermark on the rock. Uh, where it usually should be is where the tree line is, the growth. And here it is right now. everywhere oh, they're deep enough oh it's beautiful stunning absolutely stunning So that's Georgian Bay, and that leads off, of course, into Huron. So it's Georgian Bay. Still clear. Look at that. Snake. He's trying to get up on the rock. It caused him some problems. <laughs> yeah, we just pissed the snake off. That's a baby Mississauga rattler. That's the only poisonous snake. Really? Oh my god. A po so we, have, we do have poisonous snakes here. Yeah, Alright, I'm not going in the water. Well, what started off as a water snake and... Ah, it's just a water snake. Turns out to be a Mississauga rattler. Yep. Massasauga rattler. Massasauga, Mississauga. Anyway, it's like a rattlesnake, basically, and it is poisonous. And I, I've just seen one. Now I could camp there quite easily. I'd like to put um, this on. The sun's burning my neck, it's behind me. So a uh, bit of extra protection from the sun. Try and keep the sun off my neck so I don't get the, the old skin cancer there. All right, navigate through this again. Thanks for coming out, Nigel. Appreciate it.